Hello Aries, thank you very much. Hello Aries, thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. There was like a skip. Okay, all right. Paulina Tarot is the main tarot deck I'm going to use. It's by Paulina Cassidy. It's at the top. Supportive Oracle cards, Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. Aries. Hmm. All right. So Aries is all about things improving. You know what I mean? Aries, at least the Aries I'm aware of. There's a lot of upside down cards popping out. Why? Why do we have an upside down card popping out? Okay, let's just see where this is going. Um, figuring stuff out, like, to really get things correct, to get things to work out, you just gotta go right at it. Deal with it. Like, if people get upset, well, then they get upset. We need to fix it. You know what I mean? Um, just gotta get right into it. This situation that you're dealing with takes a bit of finesse. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with, you're, uh, the situation, there's somebody here. There's somebody here. The King of Cups. Is that the King? Yep. King of Cups with the gratitude. So somebody's telling you, somebody is like, I don't know how they're doing it because I'm kind of, they're getting you to hold back. They're kind of like, listen, listen. Yes, I know you know what's going on. Yes, I know what you see. But there's more to find here. And they keep doing that. Like, there's more. There's like This is like a situation that's slowly unfolding. And we got to find out where this is really stemming from. What we're seeing here doesn't make sense from where we, what we've seen in the past. And we got to find out more. To do that, we got to be nicer to people. <laughs> and we got to get them to want to tell us the truth and not just clam up or get defensive and not tell us what's really happening. The energy that this is starting off with is not your normal jam. It's not normally how you would handle things. It's kind of like, listen, if it's not right, let's just get in there and fix it. Let's be right to the point. Let's be very direct and let's just deal with it. And someone's here like, that's not going to work in this situation. If the other person or the other people we were dealing with could handle that, we could do that. But this this isn't working here. It's like we can't. It's almost like dealing with children. You can't. You got to like do it at their level. And it, when I'm feeling your energy, you're like, Ugh. yeah, but still we can be very honest and direct. And this person's like, no, when we do that, this energy we're going towards goes into fear and either hides or lies or clams up or something. It doesn't work. So we got to go into this with a lot more finesse, a lot more tact. Um, and I'm getting the page of swords reversed with the temperance and the balance, kind of like... The Page of Swords reverse is saying, lies do you no good, right? That seems obvious. But putting pressure on a situation to where all you're doing is getting false information out of it, like if you're forcing something and you're just getting false information the more you force it, that's worthless to you. That's, that's worthless. If you're not getting solid information, there's nothing you can do with that. For that reason, you kind of have to go with the balance and you have to go slow. This is not... Aries is not really a slow-moving sign. They get things done. They go in there and get, get it done. They don't really care for that usually. Patience isn't really an Aries thing. Um, not really, not usually. But somebody's saying, listen, we got to do it this way. And it's kind of like, Ugh, all right. It's hard to like win you over with that thought. Like they have to prove it. Like prove it to me that that's the only way we can do this because I don't want to do it that way. <laughs> kind of like you better prove it to me that we have to do it this way because I don't like it. Um, there's a lot of upside down cards here. I like, think when they come out, there's a couple of right side up. There's probably literally two, three, three. Um, but we got the five of cups reversed with the darkness. Five of cups reversed is actually a good card to have reversed. It's kind of like instead of working, you know, with the get with like a quarter full glass, it's now three quarters. It's like it's like it's it's turning things to your advantage. That's basically what the five of cups reversed is. Instead of being pessimistic, this is more of an optimistic way, because it's like 
there's been so much misinformation. There's been so many things that gone wrong. We need this to start working right. And if this is actually going to work, that's the one thing that will win you over in this. If it will actually work, okay. Like It's kind of like begrudgingly, you're like, okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, you don't want to. <laughs> you still don't want to. But it's kind of like if it turns the situation around, the Five of Cups again, upside down, if it turns this situation around and it goes from being not so really the greatest to improving and getting a lot better, all right, I'll do that. The void, is it void or darkness? It's darkness. You can see through the darkness I like better because the void is there's nothing there. The darkness is like something is peering. There's some light peering in, but you can't really make out what you're dealing with. So it's like, there's a chance this could work. This could really turn it around. All right, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, and you're putting this in. Whoever this person is, it seems like somebody's helping you with this. And they seem to be protecting the situation and you from, the, from everything falling apart, right? It's kind of like, I feel like what I'm looking at when I'm seeing the tower upside down here is kind of like, they're finding out where the problems are, and it's kind of like the building is not sound. The building is not sound. This isn't right. But with the tower reversed, it's like we're, they're figuring out what's wrong with it, and they're like, we can get people out of it, and then we can decide if it can be fixed or if we have to take it down before it falls down. Like, instead of just going along and, like, it falls down when it falls down, and if there's people in it, uh-oh. Instead of going that route, kind of like, all right, let's get everybody out. Let's get people in there to assess it. Is the building safe? Is it not? Um, can we fix it? Can we fix the structure? Or does it have to be taken down and rebuilt? It's much better to... If, it, if the building is shot and it has to come down, much better to take it down safely with everybody out rather than just it falling down when it falls down and who knows who gets hurt. So somebody's really helping you with this. There's protection, kind of like... They're seeing what's going on and they're letting you know, like, hey, this situation... This this is not good. This is gonna this is an issue. We gotta see if we can save it or if we have to deconstruct it. But we're gonna have to pull everything back here. We have to pull a lot of things back and get people where they need to go so we can assess the situation to see if we can actually salvage it or if we have to deconstruct it to reconstruct it. Break it down and build it back up. Um This is not expected. You like literally you got the unexpected card on your side. And the hiccups are here, which is telling me this this is not good news. You do not like this news. Um, but you're also looking at it kind of like the, the, the structure was faulty. Like, it, it was. it was. It's just now you know. And now that you know, you can make better decisions now that you know. So you don't like knowing. I shouldn't say you. You don't like that the structure is faulty, but you you're like I need to know. It's better than it just coming apart when it comes apart. So all right, we're rolling with this. There's protection here. We got some upside down cards. This might be good. Maybe. Nine of Swords reversed, and here's the void. The void chart shows up. No, the Nine of Swords, that's usually like when it's right set up, that's like denial or grief or sadness or some type of depression. When it's right set up, like the truth comes in. And I'm getting this situation, I think it's going to have to come all the way down. Like I feel like the building is just not safe. Like I feel like that's how we're looking at it. Like this situation is just not going to work. We're going to have to take it down and rebuild it which again it's almost kind of like instead of the the building just falling down when it falls down because you know ahead of time you can get all the assets out of it so you can save all the assets get all the computers all of this people are safe everything out you're able to get everything out that you could salvage then it has to be taken down deconstructed the base has to be re solidified and then we got to build it back up again is this really good news? No, but it's better than losing all the assets you had inside it, so it's better news. It's kind of like, again, 
if the building just fell down when it fell down, you'd have, people would have got hurt and you would have lost all the assets already inside it. It's a better outcome and it was headed for this direction anyway. Of the void there especially. <clears throat> um, it's going to have to be what it has to be. It's just knowing what it has to be. The situation has come to fruition. Six of Wands is reversed. The world is reversed. Now, the world reversed is telling me it's almost like, you know, it's hard to go into a new phase. It's almost like the end of one, the beginning of another, but there's a big, like, what do you call that, limbo? Like, sometimes I, w I consider from, like, Samhain to Yule limbo, like I think a lot of people do. In certain anyway, moving on. Limbo, like nothing happens there. Like there's a big limbo window. And I feel like that's what the um, the world reversed is, is saying here. This last situation came to fruition. We got to take it down. So we got to take everything out. And then it's like this period of taking everything out, taking everything down, re-solidifying the base, building it all back up. This is all like a limbo period. So there's a big break between when you have to stop and when you get to start again, there's a big limbo period. Nothing's happening. Um, the Six of Wands reversed is telling me it is a version of defeat. Um, I don't think it's personal defeat for you. I think the situation itself has been defeated, whatever that is. Because on your side, I'm getting like the purity, the self-love, and the Nine of Wands. It's kind of like this was the hand that was dealt me. And instead of a total loss, I'm able to salvage a lot of stuff. It's a lot better than what it would have been. Again, we got to keep all the assets. Nobody got hurt. If we lost everything and people got hurt, it's a lot more expensive and we might not have been able to return to this situation. The way it was handled, we can restart later. So that's kind of like you're, you're realizing like, <clears throat> for what it was, this was the best outcome. It's just the way we found it. The, you know, it took a lot to find it. It was a little uncomfortable the way I found it, but now that we found it and we can do something with it, it's the best outcome we were going to get. I feel like that's how you're looking at it. Like, it was what it was. It's what you were handed. It's what you had to deal with. As far as outcomes come, outcomes go, this was the best the situation was going to get. And I feel like you, you have that to your credit. Like, I feel like you're holding that to your own. Kind of like, you know what? This was the best we were going to get. Once we found out what was really happening here, this was the best outcome we were going to get. And at least we got that. That's what I got. I know it's not the most cheery, but that's what we got for this. That's what they're giving. So I feel like they're saying, do the work to get into there and find out, get into the situation and find out what's really going on. The patience, the doing very, very careful movement forward the truth you find will actually help out a lot more than you expect it to you're still going to have a rough outcome but it could have been a lot worse all right i'm going to shut this down here i hope that helps thank you for watching if you'd like a direct reading from me shoot me an email james for astral at gmail.com that's james the number four astral at gmail.com thank you